Hi, what a beautiful day. My name is Amaris Walker and I'm here to talk with you about the five things I wish I knew before I published my first children's book, You and Me in the Trees. Number one, ask your audience. I mean, this sounds like a no brainer, but while I was doing my project, I was so immersed in it and so excited that I forgot to like ask children if they would like my book. Now it turned out just fine for me. My two and a half year old loves it and that's what matters the most, but other kids love it too. 10 year olds, eight year olds, six year olds, 65 year olds. I even got a compliment from a 95 year old great grandfather on my book. This is so awesome for me, but it doesn't always go like that. So my advice would be ask your audience before you work on your project. Who is buying that thing and what can they tell you before you finalize it that's gonna help you be successful? Now you better believe for my next book, I will be asking lots of kids for their advice. Number two, ask for help. As a woman and an entrepreneur, I have always found it very difficult to ask for help. It seemed like it was always a sign of weakness if I couldn't do it all myself. Or it seemed like once I became successful, then I would have to credit everybody along the way. That's not a bad thing. I am so glad that I learned to ask for help. And on this project specifically, I needed a lot of help. I even did a Kickstarter and had lots of people back me up so that I could publish my first children's book. It was so exciting actually to have the group come together and be behind me. So I didn't have to do it on myself, all by myself. I had backers, people already willing to help me get where I wanted to be. It felt so much better than trying to go at it alone. Financially, I had help from the Kickstarter, which also was a huge stress relief for me and helped me make this book come true. So when I say, don't feel bad for asking for help, what I mean is right now, on whatever it is that you're working on that's important to you, your dream, what do you need help on with that project? Just one thing is all you have to list and then find someone who might be able to help you. It never hurts to ask. Number three, schedule time off for yourself. When you're working on a huge project and you wanna just stay up late every night and work every morning and work through everything and not work out, not take a vacation, not eat, not sleep, that is not good for you and it is not good for the success of your project. When you start a business or an idea or you invent something or you publish a book, for the first few years of the life of that project, you will be the center of it. That's right you so you have to maintain the energy for a marathon not a sprint schedule vacations get away from your devices turn off your Wi-Fi sleep with your phone in the other room every once in a while it won't kill you just make sure that you schedule time off for you because that is what is most important for your business to succeed is for you to be healthy and thriving number four you are valuable there is nobody else exactly like you and there is nobody else who is doing what you're doing the way you're doing it. You have to remember that. It is very important because you will have ups and downs and during the downs you will have to remember that you are doing something important for you and maybe for the world. Keep going. Know your value. The world will always need fresh ways of doing things. Why not you? Why not your idea? When I was putting together my book, I knew the children's market, the children's book market specifically, was very saturated. And I knew the chances of my book doing well or even getting published were really slim. But if I had not committed to myself, it would not be done right now. So even if the market is saturated, even if you think your idea isn't the most original, you can still try to make your dream come true. I would say, even if it's been done before, maybe you can do it better. Number five. And this is not so much something I wish somebody had told me. This is something that I wish for all of you to know and to remind myself of. Go outside. The importance of grounding yourself and being in nature, breathing fresh air and being away from your devices, your home, the stress, the anxiety of the project you're working on, even if it's your dream project, it will cause you stress and anxiety. Step away from that, listen to nothing but the bird calls, look at nothing but the flowers and the sun or the rain, even if it's raining, go outside. Get in nature and reset yourself as often as you can. 
but even if it's just a little bit each week, it's going to make you feel better. It probably will inspire you. You'll have time to think about your project and what's important to you, and then come home and translate that onto paper. Just make sure to go outside. I really appreciate being here, and I wish you so much luck on your project. May all your adventures come true. And if you'd like to find out more about me and how I grew up in a family band, or my book, You and Me in the Trees, go to Instagram, at You and Me Books, and follow my journey. Thanks so much for your time. Hope you have a beautiful day.